Okay, so I normally don't do high speed video and I don't normally voice over, but this one got to be like a half hour long for this part. So what you see me doing here is taking two pinks and two purple alcohol inks and putting them in little medicine cups and brushing them randomly along the prepped painted white cup. I'd gotten it in my head that I really wanted to do a total alcohol ink cup because it's been a while and doing all the inking on all of these Halloween tumblers really just put me in the mood to do a nice bright um, just tumbler in general with inks. So you'll see me going back and through through the different colors of inks working my way around. I decided that I didn't like the light pink I had initially picked so I switched to a different one and I'm kind of like watching for runs as I go and cleaning them up but just filling around and around the cup till the cup is completely covered in ink so that is what you see me doing for the first portion of this video I was just using cheap makeup brushes from the Dollar Tree um, I wash them out with regular alcohol when I am done and I tend to leave the ones that have been used with alcohol I tend to leave for alcohol for future purposes and I'll try to figure out if I can see what color I used them in before but here I'm getting another brush and just some 91% rubbing alcohol and I'm starting to blend the inks out Just dipping my brush and going over different spots, trying to catch runs, um, trying to build and layer the color a little bit more, let it spread. I did end up switching brushes. I didn't like that one that I had grabbed there. But anywhere it ran, I just kept going back over because the brush I ended up with was slightly too big. But it all works okay in the end. Just keep manipulating the inks until you like what you have. Alcohol inks are very forgiving. You get them wet with alcohol and they'll move again. They're not done until you tell them they're done. You can just keep blending and layering color all day long if you want. You can pick up a cup you started the week before and keep working on it. You'll see me here building in more color occasionally. But it's literally just around and around and around the cup until you're satisfied. Until you like what you're looking at. And here I just grabbed a mini mister and spritzed it. You can see there what that did. It just broke it up a little bit here and there. And I'm just going back in with more color because I wasn't quite, quite satisfied with where I was at. I tend to find this technique easier on a full cup if you're working with all paler colors. But I didn't really want pale for this cup. I wanted a little bit more vibrant. So I really just worked at it until I was happy. Okay, so at this point I decided I was happy. I picked everything up and got ready for the next step. I just put some alcohol on those, wrapped them in the paper towel to keep them kind of damp for the time being. Now these are those foil sheets that came in the resin and more box months ago. Um, I pulled out a pink and a gold. And 
and I grab my tacket over and over mixed with water at 50%. I grabbed another small brush and drew some lines of the tacket on here just at random, kind of following some of the lines, but not really. And I used my heat gun to dry the tacket for this one. Just because I didn't feel like waiting the full length of time for the tacket to dry on its own. And it was just going to be one coat. And see, I boiled the tacket a little bit in a couple spots once or twice. But that's okay. And then I just started grabbing the foil and laying it on where it's stuck it's stuck i grabbed a bigger brush just to brush off some of the excess um, and just tried to fill it until i got all of the tacky spots that i had made And just layering it on here and brushing off the excess and kind of trying to feel around it to see where it was still tacky you can pick up the foil sheets with the brush you can pick them up with tweezers you can pick them up with your hands whatever method works for you you can cut it into smaller strips to begin with um, I just kind of wanted very very organic for this I layered the two colors together and just added it until I was happy and thought I had all of the tacket covered. And I just kept using that little bit stiffer, bigger brush to brush off the excess as I went. Okay, I am ready to get resin on this one. Um, I am testing some new resin today. Um, it is a pretty low viscosity resin. It's going to move a lot. So this is going to be a fairly thin coat. Um, but it is J. Diction epoxy, re epoxy resin. Um, <clears throat> it's available on Amazon. They sent this to me to test. They sent me a 16 ounce kit. It says it is crystal clear, self-leveling, non-flammable, resist yellowing, 40-minute work time, and no VOCs and low odor. Um, so this is going to be my just regular coat test for this resin. Um, but again, it is extremely low viscosity. It mixed up really nicely. Um, very low bubbles. So this is going to be my first regular coat on a tumbler. And it's not going to take a ton because it's so thin. I'm probably going to do like 10 mLs for this coat. So, I'm just going to let this spin and dry. I have no idea how the dry to touch time is going to be on this. Um, it does say on the cheat sheet on the back of the bottle, uh, cure time is 24 to 48 hours. It says for molds, demold at 24. Um, doesn't say how long to the next step on a tumbler or anything like that, but they do have a Facebook page and stuff where you can get answers to those types of questions. I'll just come in periodically after about six hours and, you know, do a touch test just to find out. But 
I absolutely love the way this went on. I actually don't feel the need to torch it or anything at this point. Um, it says torch it from eight inches away, but I think on this coat, it's not even necessary. So I'm just going to let it go, let it dry, and I will come back after it's dry. So this one, I decided to do a very simple um, decal on. I'm just going to kind of spin it and look and see where I want to put it. I want to cover this little blippy bit up. But it's just getting a very, very simple mama bear decal. So I'm just going to get it off the transfer tape. And get my spot selected. And get it smoothed on. So that's it. It is ready for a top coat of resin. And I'm going to get that mixed up and get ready. Okay, I have my resin mixed. I'm going with the J. Diction again, just to finish the cup with what I started. So, here we go. Just gonna get a good layer on quick. Not too thick, not too thin. Nothing fancy here. Just plain resin. So, well, that is it for this one. I will bring you down for a close-up in a couple of minutes.